Hello everyone, welcome back. Previously, we talked about a major application scenario of the Cloud Fabric DCN solution, that is, cloud network integration. Today, let's look at another typical scenario, network virtualization. You may ask, what's the difference between the cloud network integration and network virtualization scenarios? To put it simply, one is deployed with the cloud platform, whereas the other is not. In the cloud network integration scenario, services are managed and delivered on the cloud platform. In the network virtualization scenario, there is no cloud platform and services are delivered using the Agile controller, DCN. I know some of you must be wondering, with cloud platforms being so convenient, why is a scenario without a cloud platform introduced? First, an easy to use cloud platform costs money and must be maintained. Second, the cloud network integration scenario requires that users have high technical skills for maintaining network and computing resources. In the network virtualization scenario, resources cannot be centrally managed. Typically, there are two sub-scenarios, computing and hosting. Today, we will elaborate on the computing scenario. Due to technical or enterprise organizational structure reasons, the department that manages computing resources cannot be integrated with the department that manages network resources. In this case, administrators in the two departments must work together to deliver services in other ways, such as through email, phone calls, or other IT processes. The network administrator allocates network resources to specified services or applications through the Agile controller. The Agile controller automatically delivers services configurations of the overlay network. The computing administrator creates, deletes and migrates computing resources through the VMM. The Agile controller can automatically detect the changes of VMM's operations on computing resources. Here, I'd like to brief you on how the Agile controller automatically detects the changes. The Agile controller connects to the VMM through the RPC interface and notifies the VMM of the corresponding network labels. After the computing administrator creates a VM, the VM server information and interface information are sent to the Agile controller. The Agile controller then delivers VXLAN configurations to a switch based on the received information and creates VXLAN access configurations on the corresponding switch interface, enabling the VM to access the network. We can see that in a computing scenario, the computing resources and network resources are associated. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.